Hi everyone, I'm Kim from Seasalt AI, and in this video I'll be showing you how to set up and use the Seavoice Discord bot for transcription and text-to-speech. To start off, we need to add the Seavoice bot to our server. You can find us in the Discord app directory, as you see here, or you can click the invite link on our website or top GG page. When you add the bot to your server, you'll see these permissions requested. These are things like sending messages, attaching files, and joining voice channels that are required functionalities for the bot to work. Great, once I've accepted that, the bot's been added to our server. So let's try it out. The two main features of the bot are transcribing audio from the voice channel and synthesizing speech from text into the voice channel. In either case, we need to join a voice channel before running a command. Now that I'm in the voice channel, I can start an STT session by using the recognize command in any text channel. The bot will be sending live transcriptions to the text channel, so most users prefer to set up a separate text channel just for the transcriptions and set the notifications to lower so that there's not too many notifications. Now I'll use the recognize command and select the language. Right now we support English and Mandarin Chinese, but there's more on the way. And once the bot says transcribing, I should see live transcriptions being sent to this text channel. Great, so my transcriptions are coming through. Seavoice can also do text-to-speech, either independently or at the same time as an active STT session. To use the TTS, run the speak command, select a voice, and then type your message. This is a test. We have a variety of voices for English and Chinese, and actually the Chinese voices can do a very good job in English too. Once I'm done with my STT session, I can use the stop command to end it. It will also be ended automatically if everybody leaves the voice channel. Once the session is over, the session creator will receive a DM from the bot containing a transcript file where each line has a timestamp, the user, and the transcription. And if any user used the TTS, those TTS requests will also appear in line with the transcription. You can also download an SRT formatted transcription file, which is a captioning format. So if you want subtitles for a video, you can download the SRT format and use those as subtitles. Finally, there's also a recording, which and if you click it, transcribing, I should see live. will open a web browser with a player. To download it, you can just right click anywhere and save as an mp3 to your computer. All the files are available for 24 hours after your session, so if you want to keep your data permanently, make sure to download it within that time. If you need to recover data after the 24 hour window, you can reach out to the Seasalt support team and we can usually retrieve that for you. Now that we've seen the basic functionality of the bot, let's see how we can customize the user and server settings. First, let's look at how to configure the settings for the server. You can use the server config command. In order to use this command, you do need to have admin permissions for the server. That's just to avoid just anybody changing the server configurations. But as long as you do, you can run the server config command. And you can see we have five options for configurations at the moment. The first one, live transcript, just toggles whether or not you want a live transcript during your STT session. Some users only want the final transcript, they don't want the live transcription at all. So for those people, you can disable the live transcript. Next is transcript recipients. That's regarding the final transcription and audio files at the end. By default, it will go to the session creator only, but you can also make it so that every participant receives a DM with those downloads. You can also set it to go to a channel, so in this case, whichever channel I ran the server config command in, I could have it output to that channel, or if I don't want it at all, I could just set that to nobody. Transcript style, what you saw before is plain text, but we can also do a fancy transcript with the embeds, so that'll take up a little bit more space on the page, but it does look nicer and it can be easier to read. Ignore bots allows you to 
include or exclude other bots from the transcription. By default, we exclude other bots, and that's because a primary use case for other bots in the voice channel is music, and the STT model doesn't do great transcribing music. So by default, we will ignore other bots in the STT session, but if you have some other use case, like you have a different TTS bot you're using and you want it to appear in the transcript, you can set that to include. Finally, we have an optional profanity sensor. Uh, by default, that is disabled, but if you want to keep your transcripts clean and you don't want any foul language in your live transcriptions in the channel, you can enable that. Once you hit enter, you'll see all your updated settings. And if at any time you forget what you have set, you can also use the server status command to see your current settings in a compact format. On the user settings side, you can use the user config command. Currently, we just have one command that's exclude STT. Some people just really don't want to be included in the STT session. They don't want the bot to have their data, or they just don't want what they say to appear in the transcript, and that's totally fine. So that for those people, they can just set their user config to exclude, and the bot will just completely ignore them. It won't capture their audio at all. I can also use the user status command similarly to get a summary of my status. We're constantly adding more configurations, more settings to the bot, so in the future there may be different settings, different parameters, so please check our documentation page for the most up-to-date version. In addition to adding more customization features, we're also planning a premium version of the bot. All the existing functionality will remain free, but we are experimenting with some premium features such as voice moderation, um, so please stay tuned for that if that's something you're interested in. We also have a community server. Uh, please join if you want to share your thoughts about bug reports or feature requests. We'd love to hear what you think about the bot. Additionally, we're always posting announcements about new releases and the status of the bot if it's ever down. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching this video. We'd love to get some feedback from you and have you join our server. Until then, please enjoy using the Seavoice bot and please reach out if you have any questions.